So this exercise is exercise 6E, isn't it? Question number one, we are starting. So first of yes, all, sir. we always try to understand step by step. I like to read the question at least two to three times. The ratio of two numbers is two by three. Another way of writing is the ratio of two numbers is two is two, three. It means the same. Okay. So whenever the thing is in ratio, what do you mean by ratio? Uh, so it's like it's a portion. So yeah, very good. So it's a portion between two things, like a whole. Yeah. So um, one thing is divided into these these parts between two things. I guess something like that. So I can assume it was divided into five parts: one, two, three, four, five. So one person is getting two, another person is getting three out of it, isn't it? Yes? Yes, sir. What if there are 10 things? What will first person will get? Uh, they'll get five, I guess. No, I mean, sorry. Um. Three, four, five. Out of five, how many things first person will get? Two. But there are another five also. Ah, uh, so four. Okay. Is it making sense? Hmm. Yes, sir. So try to understand a pattern over here. Whenever there is a ratio, if the total is in multiple, the ratio is also in multiple. Okay, so basically, okay. basically, when the question gives you a ratio, what they are trying to say is that let the first number be 2x. That means two tables. And second number be 3x. That means three tables. What they are trying to say, the first number and second number is in two table and three table. Okay, two times three is six, so nine. So what they are trying to say, if first person will get two things, second person will get three things, that is the ratio. If first person will get four things, other second person will get six things, Similarly, six and nine. What yes. if first person get ten? What will the second person will get? So four, six, uh, two, three. A uh, fourteen. Why fourteen? I mean, so what I did was two and three. There's a difference of one. Six and four. There's a difference of two. Nine and six, there's a difference. Beta, I said multiple. That's why I'm t asking you this question. Wow, okay. Three, six, nine, twelve. Okay, got it. What is the answer? Twelve. Again, incorrect. Two tables. Okay. Two times five is ten. Three times oh, five is fifteen. That way. First of all, try to understand the ratio. We have done the ratio chapter in class 7, 6, 8, 9, 9. So right now we are applying that concept. So ratio means there are two people. They have a agreement. Do you have any sibling, brother, sister? Yes, no? Yeah, a brother. Younger or older? Uh, younger. Younger. So... So suppose you are you and your brother have agreed whenever a chocolate box comes, we will share it in the ratio of two is to three. That means if there are five chocolates in a box, you will get three chocolate and your brother will get two chocolate. So accordingly, if chocolate increase to 10, so basically they are getting doubled. So you will get double. 
six chocolate out of ten, and your brother will get four chocolate. Double. Is it making sense? Okay. So, yes. Basically, uh, you have cheated your brother. <laughs> As the number of chocolate increase, this gap will keep increasing. Ah, yeah. Right now, there are twenty-five chocolates. Out of which you are getting fifteen, and your brother will get ten. Is it making sense? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So basically, the starting point was five. If you multiply by five, isn't it twenty-five? So that's why ratios are always in multiple. Okay. Can we copy it? Okay, sir. Ah, uh, just a minute. Yeah. So, for a ninth grade kid or beyond that, one should understand if they give you a ratio, you should take it as a multiple. So, why two x? So, I don't know by which number it is getting multiplied. In the previous example, we saw that I am I am multiplying by two. I am multiplying by three. Multiplying by five. Multiplying by ten. So, it depends upon a question. It depends upon the condition given. So right now they have not given us the condition. So let the common factor be x. Okay, common factor means common multiple be x. So let so because okay. of that it becomes the first number becomes two x. That means two table. Basically, whatever the first number will be, I don't know. It will definitely be in the table of two. Is it making sense? Whatever the second okay. number will be, yeah. Ah, uh, oh yes, sir. Because yeah, okay. It will be in the table of three, so that's why three x. So since two and three are related to each other, therefore the common factor is x. So I'll just move ahead with the question. If two is subtracted from the first number and eight from the second, according to the question, first number. What will happen to the first number? Two is subtracted. Yes. Six minus two. Do that. What will happen to the second number? Ah, uh, what does A T Q stand for? It was according to the question. According okay. to the question. Okay, and that's a shortcut, short form abbreviation. Okay. What will happen to the second number? A three x minus. Three x minus. Ah. Uh, Pay attention to the question. Three. The question becomes a reciprocal of the original. If, if, if to okay. I am stopping at comma. Please yeah, so pay attention. If you are if you are focusing somewhere else, please pay attention to the question. I always stop at full stop and comma. They are the pause points where we stop and think and write. Okay. Yes, sir. So three x minus eight. Yeah. So done till now. The ratio becomes the reciprocal of the original ratio. Second time when they are giving the ratio, that means new first number upon new second number. What is the ratio? So ratio is two is to three. So will it become three x minus eight by two x minus two? I'm asking ratio. Earlier it was two upon three. Now it will become three upon two. Yeah. Is it making sense? Yes. No. Okay. Now I'll substitute the values. What is the new first number? Ah, uh, two x minus um two. Very good. So I'll write that two x minus two. What is new second number? Three x minus eight. 
equals to 3 upon 2. Can you solve it after this? Or you want me to do it? Be honest. Uh, can you do it, sir? Yeah. So whenever there is a fraction sort of thing, we always do a cross multiplication. Okay. Another question, which according to me will be coming in your mind, if not now, will come during exam. So why you have not taken as X? Isn't it? You are telling that ratio should be in X. Yes, no? X, yeah. So basically, first time they were giving the ratio to start point. Second time when they tell this ratio, we will use it as literally as ratio. Right now, I converted the ratio as numbers. Can you see that? So right now, I am dividing. I am dividing. That means I am making them in ratio. So ratio equals to ratio. So this thing is possible. So what I will do, I will do a cross multiplication over here. And I will form a equation. So 2 bracket 2x minus 2 equals to 3 bracket 3x minus 8. Okay. 4x okay. minus 4 equals to 9x minus 9x minus 20, um, 24. Yeah. So it will multiply by both. That is the important thing. So I will shift things to one side. 4x minus 9x equals to minus 24 plus 4. It will be minus 5 minus 20. X equals to 4. 4. So common factor is 4. Isn't it? Common factor is 4. Therefore, first number 2 into X is 8. Okay. Second number is 3 into 4 is 12. Can you check? Is it coming to this? So if you subtract 2 and then subtract 8, right? So 6 minus by 4. So really? What they were asking? What was the question? I guess question was... It has to be 3 to 2. Okay, got it. Yeah, find the correct. original number. They were asking the numbers. So my answer is 8 okay. as well. So that is question number one for you. I hope you understood few points. Few points to be taken care whenever we are doing statement question is stop at full stop, stop at comma, try to write whatever you have.